लेट सी वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ ऑर्डर वन सो वी हैव टू सॉल्व पी टेन एक्स प्लस क्यू टेन वाई इक्वल्स टू टेन जेड ओके सो वी नो दैट द पार्शियल लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड वी वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व बाय लेग्रांजेज मेथड देन the general format is p capital p into small p plus capital q into small q equals to r now the lagrange's auxiliary equation is given by dx by capital p equals to dy by capital q equals to dz by capital r okay now in this question our capital p which is the coefficient of small p is tan x capital q is tan y and whatever is in rhs is your r which is tan z so the auxiliary equation will be dx by tan x equals to dy by tan y equals to dz by tan z now taking first and second just equate uh, these dx by tan x equals to dy by tan y so you will get cot x dx equals to cot y dy if you integrate both side integration of cot x is simply log sin x integration of cot y will be log sin y and constant also i am letting as log c1 so from here uh, you can say that uh, log sin x Minus log sine y equals to log c one or log a minus log b is log a by b so log sine x by sine y is your log c one. If you remove log from both side, you are getting sine x by sine y equals to c one. So this is your first equation which we wanted. now for the second equation equate second and third so you have dy by tan y equals to dz by tan z now from here uh, if you see uh, this is cot y dy equals to cot z dz integrate both side log of sin y equals to log of sin z plus log of another constant let that be c2 so log sin y minus log sin z equals to log c2 log a minus log b is again log a by b so log sin y by sin z equals to log c2 so from here you are getting sin y by sin z equals to c2 if i remove log from both side and this becomes my second equation so final solution uh, final solution which is uh, the general solution also uh, sometimes told as general integral is nothing but uh, phi phi is a function so phi of c1 comma c2 equals to 0 so phi of sin x by sin y comma sin y by sin z sin y by sin z equals to 0 you can also write it uh, in this way first that means sin x by sin y equals to phi of second sin y by sin z or 
these are different ways to write the same answer or you can also write like this uh, sin y by sin z equals to phi of uh, sin x by sin y these are the three ways any of these you can write as your final answer i hope you understood the question the first one is to find the what is p what is q and what is r then come to the auxiliary equation you will get three different things equate them solve them find the value of c1 and c2 final answer is final general solution is phi phi is any function of c1 comma c2 equals to 0 and i told you that you can uh, write final answer in any of these three ways i hope you understood this question thanks and have a very nice day